the uterus goes through a cyclical developmental pattern to be ready for implantation and support of an embryo. The uterine or menstrual cycle is under the control of ovarian hormones. The uterine cycle also has three phases, the menstrual phase, the proliferative phase, and the secretory phase. By convention, the beginning of the menstrual cycle is considered to be the first day of the menstrual flow. Changes in the endometrium are triggered by changes in levels of ovarian hormones. Falling levels of progesterone cause the spiral arterioles within the uterine endometrial lining to constrict. As a result, the cells of the stratum functionalis die and slough off. After menses, the proliferative phase of the uterine cycle begins. In response to estrogens secreted by the maturing ovarian follicles, the cells of the stratum basalis proliferate, regenerating the stratum functionalis and repairing the endometrium. After ovulation, progesterone and estrogens secreted by the corpus luteum in the ovary stimulate further development of the stratum functionalis. The endometrial glands grow and coil. The endometrium becomes even more vascular and continues to thicken slightly, and the endometrial glands begin to secrete glycogen. If fertilized, implantation of an embryo occurs and is nutritionally maintained by the endometrium. If fertilization does not occur, then the corpus luteum disintegrates, levels of progesterone and estrogen drop, and in response, the stratum functionalis of the uterine wall sloughs off during menstruation.